The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, transcribed, by the Kraft Foods Company. Twenty years ago, the Kraft Foods Company introduced a wonderful new salad dressing, a superbly smooth, delicious-tasting salad dressing called Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip was so remarkably good that it soon became the most popular salad dressing ever created. Now, Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined, and good cooks everywhere depend on it to make their salads better tasting. To bring out the best in your salads, Use the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. Well, here it is September, about the time boys and girls are thinking about returning to school. The great Gildersleeve's nephew, Leroy, doesn't like to think about it, but as long as he has to, he has some very unusual thoughts on the subject. Hey, Young, school starts next week, you know. Yes, I know, Leroy. I want to talk to you about this school business. Oh? I got an idea. Young man, you are not going off and join the Foreign Legion. You go to school the way I had to. Well, I'm not trying to get out of going to school. Why, I wouldn't dream of such a thing. You wouldn't, uh. Oh, no, Unc. I realize the importance of an education. I appreciate all the sacrifices you make to help me get it. Leroy, you're after something. Yeah. What is it? I want to change schools. Change schools? But the teachers are just getting used to you. <laughs> you're passing. I don't want them feeling sorry for me. In nonsense, my boy. Never change schools in the middle of an education. Especially when you're passing. Oh, God! kids change schools. But, Leroy, there's not another school in this neighborhood. Well, what I want to go to is on the other side of town. The Otto K. Summers Junior High. Oh, my goodness. That's four miles away. By the time you got there, school would be out. <laughs> I got it all figured, huh? I can ride down to the water department with you every morning, walk across to the post office, take the 10th Avenue bus, transfer at Woodley Boulevard, take the streetcar, get off at the ballpark, cut across left field, and I'm there. Leroy, this whole idea is coming out of left field. What's behind it? Nothing. You don't even know anybody at that school. Yes, I do. Who? Well... Bertie! Back out of the car, Bertie! <laughs> yes, Bertie. I'll go out of the car, Bertie! <laughs> what can Bertie do? Leroy says he wants to change school. He does? Do you know what's behind it? No, sir. This is the first I heard of it. He wants to attend that junior high way across town. Oh, Leroy, it'll take you an hour to get there. Well, that's okay. I'll have that much more time to study on the bus. It... No, I know you're up to something. <laughs> I'll get it. Never mind, Bertie. I'll go. Hi, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, hello, Marvin. Come in. I'm in. <laughs> Hi, Leroy. Hi. What's the matter with him? He doesn't seem glad to see me. I've seen you all summer. I know. I'm a pest. <laughs> I'll say. Leroy, that's no way to talk to Marvin. That's okay. I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm afraid Leroy's a little put out, Marvin. He wants to change schools. Yeah, I know. You do? Marvin, you keep out of this. I've seen it coming all summer. Marvin, you better keep quiet. Go ahead, Marvin. What do I do? Keep quiet or go ahead? What am I offering? <laughs> I'll offer you a punch in the nose. I'd rather have a quarter. <laughs> All right, Marvin, let's have the facts. They're juicy. Marvin! Look at Leroy Blush. Cut it out, Marvin. Leroy wants to change schools because of a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she, Marvin? Ah, oh, some chick he met at the Royal Rink. <laughs> well, if Leroy likes her, she must be a fine little girl. She's terrible. She is not. She ties her hair in back and she looks like a pony. <laughs> Marvin, you better go home now. I'm talking to your uncle. 
Where does your little girlfriend live, Leroy? She lives in a very nice section. Well, I'm sure she does. She goes barefooted. <laughs> oh? Except when she wears it. She only goes barefooted in the summer. A lot of kids do. Hey, what's her name, Leroy? Her name's Mac. Imagine a girl's name Mac. Boy, is that stupid. <laughs> her name is McCoy. Joe McCoy. Imagine a girl named Joe. <laughs> That's stupider. <laughs> it's short for Josephine, stupid. Josephine, stupid. <laughs> that would be a good name for her. <laughs> Watch it, Marvin. Uh, Leroy, is this Mac, uh, this girl, the only reason you want to change school? I don't want to talk about it. And if I go to any school, I'm going to her school. Now, Leroy... She may help her with me. She's not afraid to do anything. Leroy. She. Don't worry, Mr. Gildersleeve. I'll get over girls. I did. <laughs> I don't understand why Leroy never mentioned the girl. He hasn't had her over home. I wonder if he's ever had her in Petey's for a soda. Hello, Petey. Well, hello, Mr. Gillespie. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Petey, has Leroy been in here with any new little girls? No, he hasn't even been here with any old little girls. <laughs> I mean strangers. Leroy has gone overboard for a little girl named Josephine McCoy. And I'd like to know more about her. Hmm, why don't you call up Mr. and Mrs. McCoy? <laughs> if you want to know the real McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That was a little witticism, Mr. Gildersleeve. If you want the McCoy about McCoy, call the McCoy. <laughs> I get it, Pete. No, you ain't laughing. True. <laughs> I can't stand a sour puss. <laughs> What? When a man takes the trouble to think up something funny, you ought to have the decency to laugh at it. Phoebe, I'm not in a laughing mood. That's what I say, Kildare. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry I came in. What do you want to buy? Nothing. So am I. <laughs> Phoebe, I just came in to see if you knew anything about the company Leroy's keeping. Well, it seems to me there is a McCoy family living across town. Leroy's quite taken with this girl. Wants to go to her school. You don't say. The boy has me puzzled, Pete. That could be. He usually confides in me. Brings his little friends to the house. This time, I can't pry a thing out of it. Yeah, Mr. Gildersleeve, if I were you, I, I wouldn't worry about Leroy. Yeah, maybe I am overly concerned. But I've never heard of the McCoys. No, well, maybe they haven't heard of you either. <laughs> oh, Petey. Just that I don't know what kind of bringing up the girl has had. Of course, I trust Leroy's judgment. Oh, yeah, yeah. After all, I raised him, and he's picked up a lot of my traits. You chip off the old block. You know how level-headed I am. Mm, everybody does. <laughs> so, if Leroy continues to follow in my footsteps and uses his brains like me, I have nothing to worry about. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> George, I'm not going to speculate anymore about Leroy's little girlfriend. I'm going to insist that he bring her to the house. Maybe the thing to do is invite her for dinner. That way she'll never suspect I'm looking her over. Hey, Bertie! You home, Mr. Gildersleeve? Yes, I'm home. I thought you was home. Where's Leroy? He's upstairs talking on the extension phone. Oh? Talking to some boy named Mac. Hey, Bertie, that isn't a boy. She's a girl. Come again? Mac is a girl. Joe McCoy. Who's Joe? Joe is Mac. Yes. <laughs> Joe is short for Josephine. Yes. And Mac is short for McCoy. Oh, my God. She's long on the short name. <laughs> yeah, that's right, <laughs> Leroy's been so mysterious about. Yeah, but we're going to put an end to the mystery. Yes, sir. Bertie, 
Can we have her over for dinner tonight? Oh, yes. I think that'd be nice. I'd like to get a look at that Joe Mack myself. Well, I'm sure she's a very nice girl, but naturally we're interested in the people Leroy associates with. Yes, sir, especially girls. Your parents are always interested in the boys their girls associate with. Why shouldn't they be interested in the girls their boys associate with? Yes, sir. What's sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. You bet. And I want a gander at this girl. <laughs> hey, Leroy sounds excited about something. She did? Now I get to go over there. Are you looking for a black eye, too? No, she wouldn't shock me. See you later, huh? Yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah? Instead of you always running over to Joe's, why don't you invite her over here for a change? Over here? Well, I thought you might ask her for dinner this evening. Oh, and you wouldn't like her. She isn't your type. <laughs> why don't you let me be the judge of that, my boy? Well, can she come in blue jeans? Dinner in blue jeans? Well, she'd rather wear those than dresses. She would? Well... She doesn't like shoes either, Bertie. Oh, I am not just don't know her. Well, I'm doing my best to get to know her. How about asking her over right now? We have pot roast and green beans, Leroy. Oh, gosh, she wouldn't come today. She wants to get up on top of the house and clean the leaves out of the gutters. <laughs> on top of the house? Yeah. See ya. But Leroy... Oop, he's gone. Looks like the pop roast and green beans lost out to the bare feet and blue jeans. Well, that does it. I'm going to meet that girl this afternoon. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm water commissioner. I can go over there under the pretext of reading the water meter. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's so funny, Bertie? The green beans lost out to the blue jeans, so you're going to read the water meter to me. <laughs> This must be the place. Not a bad house she lives in. Two-car garage. Yeah, there are two boys on the roof. Now, one got a horse's tail. That must be the girl. Yeah, I can't get over it. Girls with horses' tails and boys with Drake's tails. <laughs> yeah, if I can sneak up behind this tree, I can get a better look at her. It, 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 darn dry leaves make a lot of noise. Out of the what do we do with them, Joe? We'll go down and burn them, Buster. Uh, I kind of like the way you call me Buster. Buster. <laughs> Let's sit up here on the roof and talk a while. What's the matter? You tired? I've done all the work. Uh-huh. I just like to talk to you. You're the only girl I can talk to like a boy. If you talk to me like I'm a girl, I'll fuck you. <laughs> I'll bet she would. <laughs> hey, Joe, I want to ask you something. Shoot, Buster. Could you come over to dinner some night and meet my uncle? Why should I meet your relatives? I got relatives of my own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but maybe they're not like us. <laughs> That's too bad. I've seen your aunt. Oop. <laughs> you have? I saw a picture in the paper with the seats all puffed out like the smuggling wall on the <laughs> Something tells me I'm not going to like this girl. That's an okay guy. Okay, okay. I'll come over and meet your own. You better wear a dress. Are you kidding? Come on. Let's play follow the leader. I'll be leader. What are you going to do? Jump off the roof. The roof? What a tomboy. Jump off the roof into the tree and grab the limb. Well, I don't know if I can jump that far. I think you can make it. You're getting almost as strong as I am. I am. Come on, follow me. Yeah, there she goes, out into space. <laughs> she made it. <laughs> Come on, Buster! Jump! Gosh, I don't think I'd better do it. Do you think I'm a coward? Nah, you just got more sense than I have. <laughs> well, at least nobody got hurt. I'll jump down and get a ladder. Here, here she comes. Watch it. Hey, that's my uncle. You learned about my uncle. Mr. Gildersleeve, what were you doing under that tree? Just reading the water meter. <laughs> the great 
Mrs. Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Here's a wonderful new kind of salmon salad sandwich. One of those all too rare ideas that are easy enough for the family, fancy enough for company. First of all, make some good salmon salad. Use drained canned salmon, crispy chopped celery, and sliced up dollar. Mix them all together, then add the salad dressing. And I do mean the salad dressing. The one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a fine, lively, teasing flavor, a flavor that'll make your salad taste its delicious best. And it's a flavor that no other salad dressing has, because Miracle Whip is made from a secret craft recipe that combines the qualities of old-fashioned boiled dressing and rich mayonnaise. As you add Miracle Whip to your other ingredients, you'll notice this salad dressing has a remarkably smooth, creamy texture. That's the result of thorough, careful blending with special craft beaters. For the sandwich part of this treat, instead of the bread, you'll need some nice rosy tomatoes. For each serving, peel one tomato and cut into the three crosswise slices. Then place the bottom slice of tomato on a lettuce leaf and alternate the tomato slices with two layers of salmon salad. Add a dab of Miracle Whip to the top of the tomato, and there it is, a tempting sandwich of tomato slices and salmon salad. Keep a jar of Miracle Whip on hand always for all kinds of good-to-look-at, good-to-eat salads. You won't know how delicious your salads can taste till you make them with America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip. Well, the great Gildersleeve went to some pains to find out why he should disapprove of Leroy's new girlfriend, but about all he's discovered is that she's a bit of a tomboy. Now he's discussing the situation with Mr. Peavy. When she came down out of the tree, she landed right in the back of my neck, Peavy. My, my. You're right about, <laughs> right about here. Think it's going to be black and blue? <laughs> well, if it is, you can always turn up your coat collar. <laughs> Maybe this is serious. You know, I hate to do it. I'm just going to have to forbid Leroy seeing the girl again. Mm, I don't know, Mr. Gildersleeve. Sometimes that can lead to complications. What do you mean? Well, there was a time during my courting days that Mrs. Peavy got put out with me and forbade me to call on her again. She did? So I got my dander up and dared her to marry me. What'd you say about that? She called my bluff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Of course, I was planning to marry Mrs. Peavy in the spring anyway, but you might say I sprung too soon. <laughs> well, I'll give it some thought, Peavy. Maybe Peavy's right. Maybe I shouldn't oppose Leroy seeing the girl. Perhaps if I ignore the situation, everything will work out all right. Gildersleeve, you're inclined to make mountains out of molehills. Yes, Gildersleeve. Yes, Bertie. Leroy, come home with you. Well, I haven't seen him, Bertie. Well, I guess he's still down at the roller rink. Yo, know, skating? Him and that Joe. You yeah. well. She sure got that boy skating around in circles. It'll pass, Bertie. That boy ain't gonna get nowhere going around in circles. That's all he's doing, going around in circles. All right, Bertie. Where's the paper? Still out in the yard, laying out there in the deep grass that needs mowing while Leroy goes around in circles. He hasn't been around the house much, has he? No, sir. Bertie didn't have to straighten up his room. Not that I'm mine, but you've been training him to do that. Yeah, I know, Bertie. He's too busy going around in circles. Bertie didn't have to take the cans out for him. You did? Bertie not only had to take out the cans, she had to bring them back in. Oh? Took them out on the wrong day. While Leroy's going around his circle, he got me going around his circle. <laughs> ah, yeah, thank you, Bertie. But I'll go to the door. Oh, hello, Marvin. Hi. Leroy isn't home. He's never home. Well. I don't have anybody to play with. Too bad. Since I can't do any better. You want to play with me? <laughs> Sorry, Marvin, but you hurt me. I don't like to be second choice. Okay. I don't think we have any fun anyway. Why don't you go down and get Leroy? He'll come home. Yeah, to eat and then he'll be off with that Joe again. No, Marvin. You can let him change school? We'll see about that. I guess it's up to Joe, huh? What's this? She's telling him what to do now. 
Then she don't have any control over Leroy anymore. I do so. Then why don't you go get him? I don't want to go get him. You don't think he'll come home with you? He certainly would come home. Suppose he tells you to go fly a kite. <laughs> he wouldn't dare. Why, George, I'll go down to that skating rink and bring him home right now. <laughs> Marvin, what are you laughing at? You tickle me. Hey. <laughs> Busy place. There's some pretty good skaters out there, too. I wonder where Leroy is. Oh, there he is. Over there trying to keep up with Joe. He can skate faster backwards than he can forwards. Well, here he comes around. Leroy! Oh, Leroy! I guess you didn't hear me. Marvin, did you follow me down here? Yeah. I want to see if you can get him home. Don't worry. Uh, here he comes around again. Leroy, stop. Terminate the skating. Okay. Come on, go. Well, that's more like it. What do you want, huh? Young man, it's time to go home. God. Hi, Mr. Gilderslave. Hello. Joe, Uncle says I have to go home. Why does Buster have to go home? Because I say so. Yeah, because he says so. Oh, Marvin, get lost, Junior. My mother won't let me. <laughs> Come along, Leroy. Take off your skates. Oh, gosh, we're having so much fun. Mr. Gildersleeve, you don't know how much fun it is to skate. Young lady, I'll have you know I was an expert on skates. You're kidding. I am not. It must have been years and years ago. It wasn't so long ago. I'll bet you can't even stand up and skate. I bet he could. At least I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Marvin, I could go out there and skate rings around most of this crew. Somebody get him some skates. Oh, do you really think you ought to? If, well, perhaps it wouldn't be sporting. Show up, you kiddies. He's back him down. Marvin, go get the skates. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll get me some, too. <laughs> on tight, Unc? Yeah, I think so. Come on. I'll take you by the hand and lead you out to the middle of the floor. Hey, don't worry, young lady. I can navigate these skates. Hey, pretty good, huh? Yeah, not bad, huh? Heck, I don't think he's going to fall down. Hey, while it's still intermission, let's crack the whip. Crack the whip? I'll be the anchor, and you can be the end of the whip. The end? That's the part that always gets popped. Go <laughs> hands, everybody! You think you can do it, huh? You bet. I'm just getting my sea legs. It won't do any good in the roller rink. <laughs> yes, yes. Here we go. Hey, everybody! <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> He's going pretty fast. Better slow down, Joe. Look out! We're going to crack the whip! Oh, lost my hold. There we go! I'm heading right for the skate rack. Oh! Are you all right, Hunk? Leroy, now will you come home? Lucky. Yeah. The skate rack took more of a beating than I did. But Joe shouldn't have done it to you, Unc. I sure told her off before I left. Good for you, Leroy. Nobody can treat my uncle like that and get away with it. Oh, I'm glad your eyes are open, my boy. Yeah, I told her I never want to see her again. I don't like girls who try to act like boys. We're through. <laughs> <laughs> Things sure can change fast. Well, let's forget about Joe McCoy. What a name for a girl. I've already forgotten about her. Yeah, what a sound, level-headed boy. Takes after me. You bet. I take after you. Bertie, will you see who's at the door? Yes, sir. I'm on my way to the kitchen anyway. Hello. 
Good evening. I'm Joe McCoy. Uh-oh. Miss Joe McCoy calling. Oh, my goodness. I guess she can't take no for an answer. I'll tell her off again. May I come in? Well, sure, come on in, but I thought I made it clear, Joe. Joe? Joe? Josephine! Hey, she's wearing a dress. What's the matter, Leroy? Well, that's the first time you've ever called me Josephine. Well, it's the first time I ever saw you in a dress. <laughs> what happened to you, Josephine? I guess I'll wear dresses from now on. If Leroy likes me that way. Do you, Leroy? Yeah. You look great. Just great. Gosh, I mean great. Thank you. Goodbye, George. She does. Uh, Joe, yeah, I mean, uh, Josephine, <laughs> why don't you stay for dinner? Hey, now. will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Add a surprise to the next fruit salad you make. Add several cubes of cranberry jelly to the fruit. Try it. And to be sure that salad is at its delicious best, be sure the salad dressing you use is Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip gives salads wonderful flavor, a lively, teasing flavor, a flavor millions of folks call just right. It's a different flavor, too, one no other salad dressing has. Remember, for fine-tasting salads, there's nothing like the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. Again, Leroy. Don't wake him up, Marvin. But I got an idea. Hey, Mr. Gildersleeve, wake up. Hey, he's dreaming. What's that? Wake he's up. Oh, oh, it's you, Marvin. What is it? You got a match I can use? No, Marvin, you shouldn't be playing with matches. There are a lot of dry leaves around. I told you not to wake him. What if you started a fire, Marvin? If I did, I'd catch it when I got home. Hey. Yes, indeed. And this is the time of year all of us should watch it. When the leaves are falling and the ground is dry, do you realize that 90% of our terrible forest fires are caused by careless handling of matches? Yeah. Not just little boys like you either, but adults too. Without thinking, even grown-ups throw lighted matches and cigarettes out of car windows, leave campfires unattended. A moment's carelessness can destroy thousands of acres of our nation's fine timber. Sorry to ask for the match. Yeah, that's the boy. So why'd you wake me up to ask for a match anyway? I was going to wait until you went back to sleep and give you a hot foot. Hey. <laughs> oh, Good night, folks. The Great Gilder's Lead is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White of his current five. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Marilyn Carroll, Suffy Singer, and Dick LeGrand. Musical composition by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> Here's how to make that Swiss cheese on rye taste better than ever. Make it with Miracle Sandwich Spread. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft from America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, and spicy relishes. See what a wonderful tang Miracle Sandwich Spread adds to any kind of cheese or meat sandwich. See how delicious it is used alone between slices of bread for sandwiches that are really thrifty. Tomorrow, take home a jar of Miracle Sandwich Spread. This has been an NBC Radio Network production. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.